Would you look at that? Beautiful. There we go. Good morning, beautiful people. I know it looks really, really dark in here. It's not actually nighttime. It's like 2 p.m. But it's like just really dark outside. And I've got my box lights on, so yeah. All right, so in this bowl, I have got... What have I got? I know I've told you guys like 400 times, if not more, that I generally don't eat oats first meal of the day because they just make me drowsy. But today I'm taking that risk because I am just craving oats like crazy, so... Yeah, so in this bowl, we actually, do you know what? Do you know what? Yeah, first, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to, er to each and every one of you who bought my ebook. If you saw my last What I Eat in a Day, um, I announced that the Healthy Crazy Call cool cookbook, ebook, whole experience, um, after two years in the making, is finally here. And honestly, I knew it was kind of an entertaining read, but I didn't realize that you guys would enjoy it so much, and the feedback has just been really overwhelming. So Thank you, it means the world to me that you're really enjoying it. And like I said, for those of you that don't follow me for the food, there's still stuff in there that will satisfy you, so... If you know what I mean. But yeah, honestly, I know I'm always like, joking and being satire, but... Your feedback from how much you guys are enjoying the ebook, whether it's for the, the recipes or the other stuff in there, um, really means the world to me, so... Thank you. So parched, can't even... Yeah, and also before we get into the flow of this video, just wanted to say a big sorry to everyone that tried to buy it through credit card. Sorry I didn't realise that we had it set up that you could only pay with PayPal. Um, now that's rectified, you can pay with card as well. It's linked down below. Anyways, onto this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bowl. In the centre, we have got some, oh, not overnight oats, just like over the last few hours oats. Um, because oats is something that I'm very, like, spontaneous with. It's not like a... Can we focus, please? It's not like a regular breakfast for me, again, because it makes me so sleepy. So yeah, these are just whole rolled oats mixed with a scoop of the salted caramel maca raw vegan protein powder from Vivo Life. You guys know that's my crack. I eat at least one scoop of it every single day. It's, it's just like dessert, but healthy. And that's why it looks a bit yellowy as well, because there is turmeric in it. Turmeric, turmeric, however you say it. Fruit-wise, I have got some... This is all local. It's not all local. Yeah, fruit-wise, I have got some locally grown blackberries. I know it's still kind of end of the season, but just can't resist and still want to support what's growing around me, if you know what I'm saying. Um, locally grown rasps, and then this apple is like locally, locally grown, because I picked it myself a couple weeks ago from, there's an apple orchard near my house, which I've shown you guys before. And then, and then my friends, we are back. We are back in persimmon season, and you know what that means. Um, like, like I tell you all the time, when it's persimmon season, I literally go orange. Orange, orange, orange. Not just like, oh, Miles, have you been on vacation? Like, have you been on a sunbed? You look a little bit tanned. Like, no, like, oompa loompa. Because I eat so many of them, I literally go orange every single year. Sprinkle of hemp seeds, as always, for extra crunch, protein, and omega-3s. A big dollop of strawberry coconut yogurt. This is the Koyo one, which I absolutely love. Yeah, and then there's a big dollop of crunchy salted peanut butter and then a drizzle of chocolate. Sometimes with my oats, when I make them hot, I put dark chocolate in the middle so it kind of like melts. But as these are cold over, not overnight, over the last couple of hour oats, I just drizzled it with some choc shot. If you're wondering what choc shot is, see, I don't know if you got, any of you guys have tried this, but basically choc shot is... This is the winter spice flavor. You get a really nice sweet chocolate flavor and the ingredients aren't that bad. It's just natural fruit extracts, carob and apple, water, cacao or cocoa, rapeseed oil. So yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you as well. I had frozen bloobs. I say had because they were frozen. Now they're completely defrosted because when I make bowls like this, I literally spend about 45 minutes trying to take pictures for Instagram. Um, so by the time I eat it, it's either cold and melted or both. I mean, this was cold to start with, but you know what I mean. Can you hear that squelchy noise? Don't know what it is about that squelch. Is that even a word, squelch? But I love it. Oh, also, speaking of fruit, as, as per usual, um, I did have a cantaloupe melon this morning when I came back from the gym. Regardless of what I'm having for breakfast or lunch, always start the day with cantaloupe. Get some of that beautiful persimmon on there. Cheers. The flavours. Anyways, I'm gonna go apply to face. 
Let's get some of this peanut butter. And I'll see you at lunch. Cheers. Uh, before we get into lunch, I want to do a little grocery haul because I've got so much fresh produce I want to show you. One thing you guys were asking me on my last couple of, in fact, you guys ask all the time is how much do I actually spend on groceries in one week? The honest answer is I have absolutely no idea. Um, I do eat a lot of fresh produce and obviously now um, there's two of us, as in, as in not two of me. God, can you imagine? As in, I live with my girlfriend, but we both eat a lot of fresh produce. But if you want that video where I can do a full like weekly grocery haul with all the costs added up, I can do it in pounds and dollars. Um, yeah, if you want that video, just let me know down below and I'll be happy to provide. It is officially... Is it officially persimmon season? Am I allowed to say that? For me, I don't like them squishy. They still have to have a little bit of a bite to them. Not hard, but you know what I mean. These are, I don't know the exact name of these pumpkins or squashes. I think it's an onion squash. Whatever it is, it's just the most beautiful vegetable ever when you roast it. It's a bit more starchy and a bit less sweet than a sweet potato, but absolutely love them. This pumpkin, I actually have no idea what it is. Um, my best friend Anna went pumpkin picking the other day and then brought this back, so. Maybe we'll try this later. This is a golden butternut squash, which is like twice as sweet as the regular ones. Love it. Got a few nice soft Haas avocados. Ah, avocados, which I'm gonna dive into later. And of course, the melon stash, as always. These are peeled desapos. Sometimes they're really like gushy. Which I don't really appreciate. Um, but my girlfriend really loves those, so always stocked up. And my beloved cantaloupe melons. You're probably wondering, Miles, why do you have seven? Because I literally eat two or three a day, um, and it's not about to stop. I know that looks like a lot of melons. Melones, can we focus? Um, and it is, but literally that will only last us like two or three days, because we just go ham on the melons. Also, just wanted to send my love back to everyone that's been so supportive um, over the last month or so since I opened up about my um, withdrawing journey from drugs. Um, and... Yeah, things have been very difficult. I'm not going to bore you in this video and talk about it, but I will update you soon. Just wanted to say each and every message, whether it's on YouTube or Instagram, really touches my heart, and thank you. <laughs> Only thing about these pumpkins is they're so fucking hard to cut. Like, legit, full body hit workout. Yeah, you guys know I often use oil when I'm roasting veggies or whatever. But this pumpkin and this white flesh sweet potato doesn't even need it. Honestly, just chop them up, throw them on a tray, and you're going to have sweet, squishy heaven in about 20, 25 minutes. This alien looking pumpkin is going to have to wait for another day. There wasn't room on the tray. But do you know what I was thinking? Do you know what I was actually thinking? If you could only live on one starch for the rest of your life, that includes grains, root veggies, all that kind of stuff, what would it be? I want to know, because for me, yeah, I, I feel like for me it would still be white flesh Japanese sweet potatoes, but pumpkin is a close second. Generous amount of salt and pepper. A little drizzle of basil infused olive oil. I have just thrown this little, not a little mix, this big mix together of sweet corn, cherry tomatoes, butter beans and I'm just going to throw this in the air fryer and I know it's a bit too much to kind of like make it crispy because it's going to be piled high um, I don't know, the air fryer is just always my preferred method of cooking at the moment but with the butter beans, like I've told you so many times before even if you don't have an air fryer, just put them on a baking tray a little bit of salt, pepper, olive oil, roast them in fact, you don't even need oil. When you roast them, they are just, they're kind of like popcorn. Don't be put off if you don't like popcorn. They're just the best thing in the world. All right, so have I put way too much in there and piled it high? <laughs> yes. So it's probably not gonna get crispy all over, but still does the job. I think I'm gonna put them in for, I don't know, we'll start with 15 minutes and see where we're at. Um, I also forgot to tell you that training wise I did like the toughest leg day this morning. I generally don't do um, Leg days just because I don't need to um, I just store all my muscle like low if you saw my recent pre and post Workout video where I showed you footage in the gym Then you know what I'm talking about like you saw it in the video like I just naturally have very muscular legs But I still do do just because it feels good a tough leg day like at least once a week 
And I also love the feeling like two days later, you know when you just like sore, like sore, sore, and it feels like a bruise. And then you just like push on it. I don't know why, but I just think it's the most like amazing feeling ever when you have like sore muscles and you just kind of dig into them. Do you know what I'm saying? Please tell me you know what I'm saying. As per usual for this bowl, I'm gonna use a big bed of dark leafy greens. Like I always say, my number one tip for just like, if there's one thing, like one addition you could add to your diet, just for overall better health, whether that's for skin, whether it's for, just for everything is dark leafy greens. Just get them in you. I usually, and I've spoken about this like tons of times before, eat about two to three heads of romaine a day, which I know is excessive. Um, sometimes I'll just have like one head and then like something like kale or rocket, arugula. Um, but yeah, always greens. Greens, greens, greens. Do you see what I'm chatting about? Look how nice and crispy those butter beans are. They've almost like popped. And the tomatoes, tomatoes, are all nice and caramelized and charred as well. Can't ever, won't ever have any kind of bowl without avocado. Ah, avocado. And of course, the best part, some good liquid gold. Beautiful. All right, so in this bowl, we have got a big bed of romaine and arugula at the, rocket at the bottom. So we've got the nice caramelized tomatoes, sweet corn. Some of the sweet corn at the top got crispy. The ones at the bottom didn't, but I'm not that mad about it. The butter beans, which are like perfectly crispy. Some pickled cabbage, large creamy Haas avocado, good drizzle of liquid gold, runny tahini. And my friends, this white flesh sweet potato, like I was saying earlier, if I could only eat one starch, for the rest of my life, it would be this. It's just the most delicious thing ever. But guys, I'm sorry. The thing is, some of you might disagree. Some of you might unsubscribe, but the thing is, I want, I want ketchup with this. And this is kind of, I, I think I've spoken about it before, but basically I put ketchup on everything, like literally everything, especially sweet potato. And happily apply to face. <laughs> Anna, would you like to show us your pussy? Always, always for the camera. Hello, my baby. Is this like the Lion King? Look. Look at Oh, uh, so in, yeah. Do I actually look? You don't. Hi. You always look Hmm? What? 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 It's so cute. <laughs> you blend. Alright guys, I bet you didn't see this one coming, but today I'm reviewing Pippa Nut Limited Edition Gingerbread... Is it Gingerbread Biscuit? No, just gingerbread, almond butter. Yeah, like, I did make it very clear in multiple videos that Pip and Nut were not in my good books for a long time. I've never discredited what's inside the actual jar. Like, their almond butters, peanut butters, all of their things, to be honest, are just bomb. Like, the flavor is bomb, the texture is bomb. But I stopped supporting them for a little while just because... Just because. But now we've become friends again, so it's all good. Um, and they're not paying me to say this or anything. Oh, and another reason why I'm kind of like, again, not promoting this company, but just back reviewing this company. Um, you might be thinking, what the hell, Miles? Because you said you only do glass jars from now on because you're such an ethical king, which is true, by the way. Um, I actually have been in contact with this company and they are planning, they have a plan, I think, within the next year to be in glass jars. I believe that's what they told me when they DM me. If that's true, then I... Respect that. Um, anyway, ingredients, almonds, coconut, date nectar, ground ginger root, cin uh, ground cinnamon. Wow, so there's no salt. Um, but date syrup, this is gonna be really interesting. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that texture. In fact, I know why it's runny. It's because of the coconut. But look, that is what, that's exactly exactly what I'm talking about. Look at that texture. Um, again, I'm not going in with celery because it's a sweet one, so just a big mouthful. I can already smell this is sweet. I know I'm going to finish this in one go, but cheers. Oh my god, that is, number one, the texture is just... It is very gingery, like very, like, yeah, like quite spicy, which I guess is the whole point with ginger. But, um, I don't know, it's really nice and sweet as well. Love it. 
Thank you.